Hello, we are live. We are live. Sure. Coming to you live from Alfred Studios. Sorry, I'm just trying to go live on TikTok as well. Live, 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 live. So we can spread right, our love can... across both okay, platforms. Let's see. Spoilers. Spoilers. Hello, TikTok. We are live. Okay. What up? <laughs> Just, Sorry. just finished watching Succession, episode nine. Um, okay, post. Incredible. Okay, yeah, post. Post. <laughs> um, okay, we're doing post succession. We're two phones, just yeah. so you guys know. Yeah. That's anyway, post la succession episode discussion right now. Um, hello, regs are c- coming in. Regs, you're coming in hot. I actually didn't cry this episode i think i um mentally here you wanna yeah Heck yeah just yeah that's great or just no, that's perfect um i think i just like mentally blocked it out and i kind of disassociated so um i didn't cry i was like i don't i don't want to go there tonight i can't do it yeah you know what i didn't actually even feel the impulse to, to cry, cry. And the closest moment was the carry and and Marsha moment. Well, let's not even talk about that yet. And we'll get there. But, we'll get there. That's but, what made you want to cry. Yeah, that was the only moment throughout Damn. the whole episode that got me. Uh, okay, well, when emotional. Roman was, you know, breaking down, that's when I was like, oh, I kind of close number two. Yeah, for sure. But I did pre grieve. I totally pre grieved the trap. The trap is just as that. I did. I really think I got all of my emotion out in episode three when Logan passed away. And then now I've just been like, well, now I don't want to cry anymore. I can't do it. It's probably a good thing. You got it out. Episode three. It was, was a, it was cathartic. It was a long night. It yeah. Was a lot she, of crying. She wasn't sure if she was going to keep watching the show. That's not true. I could never do that to you guys. Yeah, I know, but it was a little true. She was very traumatized by, by Logan. You have a sweet spot in your heart for him. Yeah. I love him. Um, love him. Love him. Love him. I should have gotten up and talked at the yeah. funeral tonight. Got I would have been way better than two out of four, three out of four of them. Place you in. Um, okay, so let's, let's let's dive in. Let's kind of do a quick recap. I'm sure we all watched it. If you're on this right now and you didn't watch uh, the most recent Succession episode, then I advise you get out because we are going to be spoiling things. Spoilers. Uh, episode nine, Church and State. State. Had a lot going on. I will say it's one of my favorite of the seasons. I thought Such it was an incredible episode. episode. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was so grandiose. Uh, it's, and it's, HB, HBO's know how to do weddings, and they know how to do funerals, man. Like, anything with a church, HBO's just like, we fucking got yeah, it. Yeah, we got this. You know, it's it's rare to see a television show elongate the funeral as, as or even a What do movie. you mean? That was just a. It felt like we were there. Yeah, no, it totally felt like we were there. Service. They really milked it out. They didn't cut the speeches. The speeches felt like a whole total. Like, yeah, I'm watching all this happen. Yeah. So let's just let's. So what happened in the beginning? Kendall's wife was like to the kids, "You're not coming. They're not coming." He got all pissed. Um, and then Shiv told them that she and what was do you pregnant. Think, let, as we go over this, because we, you know, we all just watched it. Let's stop and give our takes on that. Did you think that Rava was in the right, um, taking the kids? <sighs> it's oh. tough. I mean, it's tough. Like that's, that's family and like that's tragedy that. and shit like that. I understand why she did it. And like, I guess Kendall's been a dick to her, but like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think they would have been fine. And I think. Maybe the maybe the kids grow up and go like, why weren't we at our grandpa's funeral? Yeah, why couldn't we see Uncle um, Rome cry in person? You know, that's because there's going to be footage of that. Yeah. Circulating what do you guys internet. think? Do you guys think Rava was right, or do you think she uh, shouldn't have taken the kids away? Do you think uh, they were in danger? My opinion is, I thought the kids could probably be there. Enough security, and everything turned out fine. But you know, that was a mother's wish, and you have to respect a mother's wish. Yeah, at the end of the day. that's true. At the end of the day, that's what you got to do. Okay, so then Ken. Said- Every wait, let's just say everyone's agreeing with Rava, so we're terrible people. Yeah. Going going forward, um, Shiv told the brothers that she was pregnant. And Roman was like peak Roman in the beginning of the episode. Delivered that huge monologue in the beginning, like was on top of his shit. He's really going after that Emmy campaign. Like that is... I think he's got it. Okay, who do you think for leading man, Kendall or Roman, the actor is Kieran or um, 
I would say Jeremy. I would say Roman this year, Kendall last year. Kendall mm. showed incredible range or you know, um not Kendall, but Jeremy Strong showed incredible range last year. And now Kieran is showing great range. I mean, he starts on top of that monologue, on top of the world, King of yeah. the Castle. Yeah. And for him to break down and have that moment so it was just built up for so long for mo- multiple episodes. Now. I will say though, like I don't know. Jeremy Strong gives me shivers, kind of like Logan does. He's like dropped in. He's Brian really Cox would make my fucking hair stand up, and maybe that's just what's written on the page. But Jeremy Strong has the ability to make my hair like be like, "Ooh, shit." Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Even even still, it's just um. If- Everybody's a little split. I think I think half are saying Karen, half are saying Jeremy, which is fun. Well, both I of, like that. Both of them, and let's let's talk about how they filmed this uh episode which was basically if you watch the after episode they tell you that it was all done in multiple one long takes so they went from the start of the the funeral all the way through the end and that just takes incredible balls from everyone involved uh incredible ovaries whatever you want to say to hit those performances with mm-hmm. everybody watching like that yeah like that's an all-star well group. i also think it, i also think it added yeah. to like the acting because it, when you give a eulogy, you're doing it in front of a ton of people, and it's nerve wracking. Yeah. Have you done? Have you given a eulogy before? I've, I've not a, not a full eulogy, but I did speak at my grandpa's funeral, and it's tough, man. Yeah, it's it's a lot of eyes. Yeah, you're nervous, but like I've given a eulogy too, and like it plays into the nerves, and it plays into the like I can't cry right now, you know, kind of thing. And um, I mean, just jumping to the funeral. I thought it was wild when his brother stood up, Greg's grandpa. Such a funny moment. Such a funny moment with Greg and his grandpa. And just, like, so family-oriented. Like, there's yeah. always going to be those wild cards that, like... Always. And you can't say no because they're family, and it's an awkward fucking time. Um, so I loved that. And he got up and uh, another chilling speech. Yeah. He, he did He did exactly what we would expect. Um, but Yeah, he, I he, knew he was going to kind of shit on him. Yeah. He would... Uh, I don't know that actor's name specifically, but... He was great. So good. So, so good. Um, yeah, then Greg was like, what, you want me to take out his legs? Like, what do you want me to do? That was... That was... How about hilarious. Greg just snaking his way in every chance he could get, going and being top right, top He's, right corner? He has always been a brown nose since episode one. He, he, he ran and got the slippers. He knows how to kiss ass. Yeah. That's what he does. Yeah, he really, yeah, he went from mascot to fucking pallbearer and he's there now yeah um so then going through the funeral my favorite scene Cromwell, thank you my favorite scene was uh oh my god he was jack bauer's dad in 24th that's fascinating um my favorite scene was when the wife logan's wife brought over carrie to the front row yeah great introduced her to Marsha, and then introduced her carrie to them i died one it was like funny and then also really heartwarming. I just thought it was fucking incredible. And then it also showed you a lot of like, oh, Logan was always cheating on the person he was with. Yeah. Testament. I mean, it's really hard to pull off multiple character scenes, yet alone a whole funeral service. Uh-huh. And the way that they they just interweave like this four, these, this four, these four people sitting there with all this backstory, all this baggage. And you just feel it like it, it was oozing out of the screen it was incredible yeah and then carrie just like obviously really loving him i feel like and maybe feeling a lot of security from him um and then um they all kind of looked like a version of uh each other they're all just dark haired um women yeah that's his type totally That's, that's logan's type totally so that was my favorite one of my favorite parts also crazy when jerry was like how happy are you though that he's dead i was like I love that little posse, though. The yeah. Carl, Frank, Hugo, Jerry, Carolina posse. It's a great foursome. Gre- uh, fivesome? Fivesome. Yeah, I think there's five, right? Hugo's kind of the dog, man. He's whoa, in and out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get to the dog. To the bark bark yet. He's in and out. Um. Okay, so then Roman gives goes up, completely breaks. I don't think anyone was shocked by that. Did you? Were you shocked by that? No, I was shocked by how great it was of a moment. He was so good. He was so good. I mean, he it was just so raw and just the lines like, is he in there? Can we get him out? That was fucking 
Whew. Someone wants you to do a quick Roman impression. So go ahead. Do Roman crying at the funeral. No, I, I can't. Then I will start crying. Um, if you guys haven't seen it yet, we put out a new video and Tay, who obviously plays Roman in our sketches, she's uh, she's the line cook and it's pretty funny. It's, 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 a good Roman it's Succession thing. meets the bear on FX, a little crossover episode. Proud of that. Um, so he couldn't give the speech. He comes down. I love seeing the Roy siblings support each other. Like we love a supportive sibling moment. And then so Kendall goes up and he just fucking crushes it. Yeah. He did. He fucking, he got the standing ovation. Did they stand? Yeah. Uh, no. But, you know, they clapped. And to me, that was a standing ovation. Felt like a standing ovation. And then clapped. Like, Roman was even like, that was really fucking good, man. And then Shiv was like, I need to still say something. All right. So what are your thoughts on Shiv's speech? Because you had some reactions while we were watching it live. Did I? What did I say? You were like... Yeah, Khan got shafted. He just cl- he wasn't allowed to talk. <laughs> well, yeah, he was going to bring up a bunch of crazy shit. Legalities. Sure. Just I fuck- always just want more. That would have been sick. I, I know, just right? Just it's, Connor. Because it's, pro- it's just... He leans so heavy into the comedic side of the show. Yeah. And I, I miss those moments. Yeah. Okay, so what were do- my reactions during Shiv's thing? Well, obviously, Sarah Snook crushed it. Yeah, Great always. Great performance. But, Kiki would obviously disagree, but she's yeah, not yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. She will be here next week for the discussion, so be prepared. So, uh, wow, for the series For the finale, finale Kiki finale. will be out here. Because she was coming to the screening we were doing. Yeah, she was the a event. hit. She was hit. Episode she was three. a hit. She was, we, we, that was a great live. She almost got canceled. Yeah, um, she did. So she did Okay, let's canceled. go. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I mean, she obviously, the follow-up performance or speech after no but what you said i had a lot of reactions i don't know yeah you, oh, you're just you were like just throwing that out there well i asked you what'd you think you said save it for the live so I was oh to it up. well yeah i don't want to like give away my gold yeah. um i just thought it was interesting that she went up there to talk and then kind of fucking blew it yeah you don't think she blew it i don't think she blew i didn't know i thought what well, thought her own blew it <laughs> But uh, her, no. I she thought, didn't get the applause like Kendall did. Yeah, but it's tough. She was she was going up there unprepared and, you well, know. Well, it's interesting because, like, you know she wanted to go say something, like, positive about him. But then as she was going through it, she was, like, realizing, right. like, fuck, he was kind of awful. And, like, even the first thing, like, when we were kids and playing, like, he terrified us. And she kind of thought it was going to get a laugh. Yep. But she was so genuine in the fact that she was terrified right i don't know what do you guys think do you think she uh blew it or not drop some lines in the comments story of her life shiv always blows it and still i'm rooting for her yeah always yeah. rooting for her um every yeah everyone's saying that shiv in a nutshell n- a nutshell um yeah i feel like she went up there and like kind of had closure with herself as opposed to gave a great eulogy and then fucking Kendall walking down the aisle on the way out of the funeral. That was like, that gave me Godfather vibes of mm-hmm. when Michael Corleone was sitting at his dad's desk and was like, shut the door, K. That's the vibe. That's the feeling I got when he walked out of the church. Yeah, I got that too. It was, it was masterfully was done. Let's, let's not forget. And then he was t- shaking everyone's hand. Let's not, uh, in that great coat that he was wearing. Yeah, fucking Dracula over there. Great coat. Um, Greg trying to inch in with Macon. So funny. Oh, at the service? Yeah, at the service. He goes like, yeah, I'll take care of you and I'll take care of my grandpa if you can just let me introduce myself to him and oh. speak good fortunes on Tom. Oh, yeah. I yeah. forget that part. No, that was funny. Um, yeah, and then the service ended. Then we go to the... The grave site. That was a funny scene. Where yeah. It's like five mil. It's a good deal. Good deal. Well, it was just so them. Like, yeah. so them. Um, yeah, when Shiv was saying he was hard on women and then it went to Jerry and Carolina, that was a really, really great moment. Good cut. And Greg on the bike just sweating at the funeral. That was fucking hilarious. That was great. Um, okay, so then we go to the, yeah, the outside. I do, I do wish they had Connor speaking. Like, I feel like... I don't know. I just needed it. I needed it. But so then they go to the the grave site. Not much happened there. Just, oh, she went up to Carl and, oh, oh, wait. Actually, things happened. A few things happened. She went up to Carl and Frank and was like, basically, was my dad a dick? And they were like, yeah, uh-huh. But he was like a good dick. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, they were like, yeah, what do you want us to say? Yeah, like, you know your dad. <laughs> um, yeah, and then that's when Ken went up to Hugo and asked him to be his dog for, oh, well, for millions. Yeah, first Roman couldn't watch and he couldn't go inside the mausoleum and he went back into the car. I get it. And then, um, yeah, he go- Ken goes up to Hugo and just like he is so Logan Roy coded right now, like, it is, it is... I just I I feel like Logan's essence is back in because that's how Kendall's acting kind of. Um What did you think of the mausoleum? Were you impressed by The Mausoleum? Yeah, were you impressed by it? It was it was a big one. Yeah, it was a big one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> did, what did you think? Yeah. I've never seen the the inside one, I I don't think, so that oh. was interesting. Yeah. Um what else? What else? What else? Okay, so then, yeah, when he went up to Hugo and he was like, you're going to eat my fucking scraps, but the scraps are going to be millions. What do you say? And then Hugo said, bark, bark. I or was wolf, like, wolf, or uh, wolf, wolf. I was like, that's fucking good writing. Woo. And Hugo is like a little dog, snake, little man. But I also am like, you go get your millions, dude. You've earned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's avoid the strap on. Hugo and yeah, go just your, yeah. Go get the bag. Yeah, yeah. He is such a good henchman. Yeah, he's just very unassuming and quiet, and like could hide in different corners of a room and hear conversations being had. Yeah, he's a good guy. Good, good dog to have. Yeah. And um, then okay, so we move on to the after the party, the reception, the mingle, the and, bodyguard, and the bodyguard. Carl. Oh, that's not his not name. Carl. I forget. His yeah, name. I forget. what's his name? You guys know. You guys are fucking awesome. You know everything. Um. But the bodyguard, I thought that was Ken basically being like, I got to keep my, not necessarily my enemies, Colin, thank you guys. Nah, not my enemies, but this guy has a lot of dirt on him. Yeah, I always forget he, I always forget he knows that Kendall killed someone. Yeah, it's, it is. Do you think that's going to come out in the end or just no? I think they, I think what we just saw was him settling it. Yeah, yeah, that's such a good point. Because I don't think Colin's going to get another moment in the series finale. It's yeah. going to be like a 90-minute series finale. It's going to be a lot of that stuff That was happening. like an hour and a half as well. Yeah, that's true. That was long. But I feel like that moment was Colin just being like, fucking A. Yeah. This kid. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He could end him if he wants to. Yeah. And then Kendall's it instead being too... like, I would, I'd rather pay you and keep yeah. you employed. I feel like if there was another season, it would have came out. out. You know, like that would have been another storyline somehow. They've always done a great job at, at keeping it in dingling the, that. Yeah. In, dingling? Yeah. That's a new word. Dingling that carrot in front of us as an audience. I think it's dangling. But so, I like dingling. Dingling. I've never... I love it. Dingle dangle. Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, he dingle dangled it. And then everybody's now trying to suck Mankin's D. Yeah. Slimy (laughs) Macon. Slimy Macon. The actor's really good at being, like, not even saying much and just being uh, the worst. Did you ever watch Weeds on HBO? No. He was the brother of the main character, and he was great in Weeds. He was, like, my favorite character in that show. Oh. Um, But... People say I look like the girl in Weeds. HBO alum. Really? Yeah. I don't know who she is. I don't see it. Um, I don't see it. Okay. (laughs) Dude, some of the comments that come up are just so interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like one comment is, I think Madsen's the dad of Shiv's kid, which is wild. And then the next comment is, do you guys kiss on the mouth? So, you know. As siblings, yes, of yeah. course. <laughs> um, so everybody's trying to suck Mankin's D. And then Shiv is like to Madsen, let me be your little CEO. He's like, ooh, ooh, ooh I don't know. And then in the end, she gets the call that, yes, she could be the CEO. Yes, which Chef. brings it full corner that... The Roys are all going up against each other. The show is back. It's succession. Who will be the successor in the end? Yeah. Um, Do you think Roman and Ken split and it's all... F- all three. All three. That's a great question. What do you guys think? I think so. Um, I think so. <laughs> someone just said, I'm waiting for you guys to be professional actors. We are too. Same. Um, but until then, we're just going to be... We're just going to be live here Amateur with the podcasters. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, well, that is, what, who are you voting for? Who are you, who, who are you hoping comes out on top? I still want Greg. No, no. I know, I know, out of the three. Out of the three of them. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take Kendall. 
Yeah, I want Ken to have it. I'm sorry. Like, I am a girl boss supporter. I love Shiv, but I want Ken to have it. I really do. It's been Ken from the beginning. I'll tell you why I don't he want Shiv to proving. have it. He keeps proving. Oh, yeah. Tell us. And I... Wait, because you're a woman hater? No, I'm a Shiv stan. I think Shiv would be great. Yeah, I was kidding. I want her to not neglect her kid like oh, yeah. her mom and dad neglected her. History repeats itself. History repeats itself. History so I'm looking out for... Itself. For little Wamsgans, that's who I'm looking out for. Yeah, so they finally kind of talked about that she's pregnant, and by had, the way. And had another moment. Um, I thought this was, that scene with them was... Uh, I loved it. Another heartwarming scene in the episode when Tom was breaking down because he hasn't slept in, in days. Yeah, what do you think about Shiv inviting Tom back to the apartment? I think it's sick. I think it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think about it? Are you guys, do you guys want Shiv and... Um, and Tom to end up together or no? And what's the name of the dog, guys? What dog? Their dog. Oh. You guys are going to know. Cause like I said, you guys are geniuses. I think it hit that button. Oh, uh, whoops. We're just kind of floating. We don't see him. Um, Mondale. Thank you. Yeah. Corinne Mondale. wins. Yeah. Corinne wins. Look okay. at it. Everybody knows. Yeah. I love you guys. You're all so fucking smart. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Do you guys want them to end up together? And then also, who do you want to end up on top? And, like... Okay, so if it's Shiv, I hope it's Shiv and Tom. I hope they get back together. I'm just, I do. And then what about when Tom cried and said, I said goodbye to Logan? That was sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Shiv's resentful that he got to be there for her, his last moments and she didn't? Um, I wouldn't say resentful. Maybe jealous. Envious. Not jealous, but envious. I feel like it's kind of the same thing. Jealous seems a little like... You have some. No, I said resentful. Oh, uh, resentful. Um, oh. <laughs> sorry, I had to stretch. Uh, yeah, yeah, she realized she missed it, and I didn't get to say goodbye because she was late. Yeah, I think she's resentful. I think she's kind of like still like fuck you, and whatever. Um, everybody's agreeing with me, so you win. I don't need you. <laughs> you win. <laughs> um. Uh, okay. But yeah, I'm taking. I'm taking Kendall. I'm taking. I'm taking Kendall too. I and, want Kendall. And do you think Matson gets it? I don't. I hope not. I really hope not. But like, I saw today that uh, what's his face, Jesse Armstrong. Armstrong. It always confused me. Uh, Jesse Armstrong had to emotionally recover after watching the finale. And he fucking made it. Really? Yeah. So I don't know. I think it's going to be a tragic ending for all of us. And I don't know what that means. I don't know if someone dies. I don't know if Kendall dies. I don't know if Roman dies. Well, oh, we didn't even talk about the end to end. Yeah, Roman getting... Uh, Pummeled in the streets. Yeah. He's for the streets. He's a masochist. He is a masochist. That's also, I think it's like, you know, his dad used to hit him. Whoa. What? Yeah, that's good. That's going deep. Yeah, and then he felt love. Like, he felt something by being beaten the shit out of. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a great episode. Maybe maybe my favorite of the season so far. Yeah, because number three was obviously not my fucking favorite. <laughs> um, winner and loser of the episode. CEO and who... Oh, also, what about uh, Kendall's assistant quitting? Oh yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> that was so funny. I, I, I liked that scene a lot because I feel like this show sometimes brushes over a lot of moments really quickly because it's got to move ahead. Yeah, and they really took time on that scene in the middle of the street, and it just felt so real and honest. And it was great when he threw the shades on and he's walking away. He's like, "Real fucking nice, bringing it up today." Okay, and he totally forced her to tell him. Sorry, I'm just, I'm seeing, like, a lot of things that maybe Roman dies in the finale because his shit goes more viral and he spirals. Someone just said that there's a theory that Tom is going to die in the finale. Why is Wamsgans going to die? Yeah, I don't, I don't see Tom dying. What's the, th someone, somebody elaborate because I cannot have that happen. Um, I would be okay if nobody died. We already got one major death. Like, let's not have another. Um, and not, not everybody has to die to have a good ending, you know? Yeah. Someone just said no one's going to die in the finale, LOL. And you know what? I like that energy. Let's keep that fucking energy up. Um. All right. Winner or loser? Oh, yeah. Winning, winner or loser. All right. So my winner is going to Wait, be... let's start loser. All right. Okay. Loser. Roman. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, Roman. Rome was the loser. But, like, also, like, he won because he finally experienced his grief. Sorry, my hair is, you know, I did not shower today. I did not put on makeup. This, okay. This is what's happening. Um, I'm the loser of this podcast. But, yeah, Roman. Uh, I would agree that Roman is the loser of this episode. I can't think of anyone else. <laughs> Someone said Rome was not the loser. Maybe Tom. Take it back. Maybe Tom. Tom missed the funeral. He's yeah. like stuck in the war room. He's crying. He doesn't know what he's doing. Um, so I'm going to say Tom just to have a different answer from you. Someone just said loser Logan, which, you know, he is dead. So that <laughs> low hanging fruit. I thought of saying that. That's a good that's a good take. Someone said Rome lost. Karen won the Karen and won the Emmy. Nice. There so, it is. yeah. Um, uh, winner. winner. I'm going to say curveball here. Matson was the winner. Interesting. Go on. He released the Gojo information. Yeah. Slid under the radar. Yeah. Um, he had a good conversation with the potential next president. Yeah. And it looked like, I mean, his last shot of the episode, he had a big old smile and grin on his face. Yeah. So I think Matson maybe won this one out of everyone. Um, I'm between two winners, and I think they're fairly obvious. Kendall. Yeah. Yep. He got, he got the applause, and he was able to save the day. But also Shiv, because she came in with that CEO energy, sure. and... She is literally having a fair fight. And it's crazy to me that all the siblings are so cordial right now when, like, she, he they just found out she fucked them over. And then she's also, like, I don't know. Family. Family. Family, it's man. It's all complicated. Just also, someone else said Mankin is a, another winner because um, because everyone was sucking his dick. And that is so it's true. true. That's a, so true. That's a good uh, 1B winner. Okay, so... Do we cover everything? Ever okay? Drop in the comments what you want to talk about, um, and we'll just cover that. And uh, yeah, rapid fire. I'll go. I'll go. I'll do TikTok. Yeah, TikTok's rapid fire. Instagram has a lag on on the comments. All right. Oh, Caroline is the winner. Interesting. Caroline's always winning. She just has winning energy. She just walks around, just making everybody feel like shit so she's always on top oh best lines of the show uh tonight um i liked when shiv said oh there she is i didn't see her the dalmatians or some shit like that oh that was great i didn't hear the dalmatians barking so good um i'm not sure i wasn't you're not sure what i wasn't watching for for lines this episode i usually do and that's okay that could be yours we could share it yeah Oh, best line, Wolf Wolf. That's a great line, too. Yeah, that was really funny. Great line. I uh, My favorite little funny moment was when Ken was leaning back. And like I said this earlier, looking at the mausoleum, he was like, yeah, good deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. Um, oh, what did everybody think about the trailer for next week? I thought they were good at giving us like enough and not too much. I don't know how it's going to end. You know, what's going to be crazy is that, like, if they do announce a successor, it's like, okay, now we don't get to see them run it? Like, I don't know. That's sad. Um, oh, everyone's also loving the line. Roman saying, is it mine? Um, to Shiv, which that means you guys are all... Oh, yeah, that was a good one. You guys are all slime puppies. Yeah, slime puppies over here. Oh, do you want me to take his legs out? That was another great one. And top bunk comment was another great one. Um, oh, we got a prediction that nobody's going to run it in the end. That would be insane. And I would feel cheated, honestly. We, we have a favorite line. Well, your dad has lost quite a bit of influence in the past few days from Tom. Yeah, dude, Tom's kind of like... He's a good one. He's a good singer. Tom's just kind of like going for it these days. Um, no, we don't live in New York City. And uh, we're in our 20s. <laughs> we got some questions on tiktok all the people on instagram know us so there there's no like wild ball questions which is you know it's nice it's nice to have that differentiation over here yeah um okay they also we... keep showing carl which is something i love carl love carl love carl um and i love frank Ken will go with the family roman doesn't want it shiv is pregnant that's what they think is um going to happen in the season finale. Oh, that's also another great line was when Shiv was saying to her mom's husband, oh, yeah, he spoke about you often. Also, when he she was like, yes to Greg and no to him about being a pallbearer. That was really Oh, funny. that was great. That was great. Um, okay. What do you think? Do you want to see if anyone wants to go live with us? I see a camera. 
Yeah, does it do we have any regs that want to go live? What's what's the uh What's the temp? What's the temp? Temp check. We'll do a quick one. We won't hold you in here for long if you want to. We'll just we'll hear uh, Sorry, I paused it. We'll ask you your winner. <laughs> Sorry, someone just said, James, do you really laugh like that? And I want to know if they're referring to my stories last night. Yeah, I told him not to post that. People can't be knowing Why? how it's I'm laughing. It's funny. It was, there was so many, like... It was it was such a genuinely funny moment that I was uncontrolled. I haven't laughed that hard. So for the people who don't months. know, on Who Plays Our Logan Roy, he came over last night. Here, do you want to get... He came over last night, and I posted on my stories. One, like, we were delirious. It was, like, 8, 11.50 p.m., and um, he was, they just laughed so hard. And then we showed him Love is Blind, which he had never heard of ever. And he, we showed him Irina and um, Zach meeting for the first time because he loves our spoof on that. And he was like baffled. He was like, I can never see that again. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Like, what are you doing? I'm just poking around the app. <laughs> He's I usually very do distracting. This um yeah anyway it was fucking hilarious go look at my story i don't know if it's still there but it was so funny people were saying i pillowed them i'm it's not on a pillow i don't maybe you it's just pillowed us shitty phone i think they think that my uh that the camera's like on a pillow or something i don't think anyone's oh i think it's because your hand your big hand gets stupid phone um okay so let's see is someone requesting to go live i never know if these are uh old ones or new ones well, uh, you can try it. Oh, wait. Does anyone want to go live on TikTok? That would be something new. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Anyone? Any takers? Who's nervous right now thinking oh, about it? I think we also... Oh, we have a guest request. Kathleen O'Neill. All right. Let's let in Kathleen O'Neill over here on the TikTok side. Okay. Instagram, I'm going to show you... Uh, I'm going to show you... Kathleen, how are we doing? Hi! Hi! Oh my oh, god, thank you. you. Wait, you're, the screen is so tiny of you. I don't know Here, why. Let's see if I can. Do you... It's okay. I'm... TikTok is confusing, although it's fine. Okay. <laughs> How? All right. All right. Are you a, are you you a Succession fan? I'm a huge Succession fan, but I didn't catch on to your lives until last week. Oh, have no. Have you been doing it the whole time? Yeah, we have. And we missed, I think, a day. Um, if you don't, we have all of them uploaded on YouTube, but I so mean, if you're, if you're super yeah, bored and want to, so yeah, there are a lot, they are a lot better right after the episode. Cause it's really all of us just like chit chatting about it, you know? Yeah. Uh, I love talking about it. It's like one of my favorite shows. It's the best. I love your hot takes. Oh. I'm always trying to stand for Shiv though. Cause I just feel like there's no feminine energy on the show and I'm like, it's very Such true. And I feel so bad. I mean, it, it's very true and like accurate about how it actually is in New York City. And, like, yeah. Corporations and everything, but I don't know. But the thing about her being pregnant and like should be able to like raise her kid better than she was raised is a valid point, I guess. Totally. Her. Totally. Yeah. No, I I would be happy to see Shiv on top as well. Like I. I I, I, I weirdly just don't want Roman to do it. Like, I don't think he can handle it, especially after tonight. Well, I do think that throughout the whole series, they always say that Shiv has no experience. But honestly, like, what other... She was his daughter. She, like... ha, she has great political experience. She's, she's good with, you know, inter, like, talking with people. She's, she's smart. She could totally run the company. Like, yeah. I think she would actually be the best of the three. Yeah. Um, technically. Yeah, also, how they, they kind of we're just going to be the co-CEOs and you're just, we'll, we'll tell you everything, but then not actually tell you anything. Oh yeah. They CE was... broed her out big time. Yeah. And they were so shocked when she went behind their back. It's like, well, what did you just do? It is kind of crazy that like they were so shocked, but then now the like, pa- they're like all fine now. I feel like but that's just the show. I feel like oh, you, yeah. even with the dad that's too, weird. that would happen. Like they'd get in big fights and then they would yeah. all be fine, which yeah. is good. I'm glad they do that because it moves things along. Okay. So I want to hear who your winner and loser was of the episode. Well, I agree with you. I think the loser was definitely Roman. He had that whole <laughs> breakdown and just fell apart, which was really hard to watch. But I do yeah. agree with whoever commented that he won the Emmy, though. Yeah, he oh, totally. really Great did. Performance. Um, in terms of winner, I want to say Shiv because I loved when the camera cut to her and she, her little eyebrows. Yeah. Like she finally like has 
it in a bag and it all worked out. I mean, hopefully. Yeah. So that was pretty epic. Um, but also, I, I, I will say um, Kendall did kind of win also. He the, did. The, you know, the president was, like, obsessed with him after that. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, it's so, so true. That, like, your funeral has to be, like, a freaking Performance. business competition. Yeah. Of, like, who gives the best? It's, like, so sad. Like, I know. I was thinking that, too. And I don't know if you watched Entourage, but I was just, like, thinking about how when it was, um, like, any religious events, Ari Gold would be, like, agenting the whole event, and it was, like, never about the actual event or the funeral. Really? So, yeah, it's really funny. But I totally agree. This whole That's thing crazy. was, it was all about stock shares, like the, like Greg's grandpa said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even imagine, but yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for having me on. Oh, my God, thanks for, uh, coming, thanks for on. coming on. This on, is the Kathleen. best. You are, you're our first TikTok um, collaborator guest online. <laughs> and, thank, honored. and thank you for uh, always supporting and watching our vids. You yeah, too. you too. Take care. Bye. Bye. We actually don't know how to... Uh, maybe yeah, just... She oh, off. she popped out. Wow. Thanks, Kathleen. That was great. Crushed it. Crushed it. She uh, she also operated it and like was like yeah, carrying like, the conversation. You she guys was, are chewy as fuck. Yeah. I will exit out. <laughs> that was sick. Um, okay, amazing. Well, this was awesome. Oh, we do have more people wanting to. I mean, okay, we got. To go. All right, sorry. I wanted to talk more, but it's 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 our time. We love you guys. I'm gonna go watch Barry now. Um, go check out our vid if you haven't. And, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, fuck off. Yeah, that's always the last thing. But we'll see you next week. Kiki will be here. It's gonna be a good time. And as always, love you guys and fuck, fuck off. off.